what is up guys lazy boy here and today I have another video for you guys in today's video we will be learning how to use spybot search and destroy the uh, virus removal program that's free it's a great program they've been around for a while they know what they're doing it's definitely probably the best virus removal program out there that's free um, if you haven't if you don't have spybot watch my last video it'll be down in the description below the link to that video on how to install spybot for free it is a free program but you want to get it from the right source and that video walks you through how to do it pretty simple but once you have the program you should have a desktop icon right here um, on your desktop if you don't have that shortcut you can go down at least with Windows uh, 10 I'm pretty sure it's similar with 8 and 7 click the little Windows button scroll down and find uh, the S's for spybot and then find the program itself right here you can boot it from here or you can go through the desktop icon it's up to you I go through the desktop icon since I have it there and I use it regularly so uh, what you want to do is every time first off once a week you want to up or use spybot at least once a week for your PC to make sure the viruses are off it so every time you boot into SpyBot, first thing you want to do, I'm just going to walk you through real quick. First thing you want to do is update, then immunization, and then system scan. <clears throat> Sorry for the coughing. It's cold here. Um, we'll start by double-clicking update. And as you can see right here, uh, there, see this bar, this loading bar? Yeah, that didn't actually update the program. That just retrieved what needs to be updated updated so by actually clicking update once that little green bar goes away another green bar will come up and it will actually update the program make sure you click that update button um, <clears throat> that update was pretty quick because I updated it before but if you haven't used the program and you haven't updated updated it it will take a long time it'll take a good it took me at least 15 to 20 minutes for it to update so there's a lot of stuff that's all this crap that gets uh, updated so once you're done with that you can uh, update it again if you please I usually update it twice just to make sure it actually updated and then once we're done with that we can close that out <clears throat> again sorry for the coughing so now we go to immunization right here just double click it and it'll always ask you three times I know it's the weirdest thing it'll always ask you to click yes three times I don't know why but once you click on it it'll automatically start immunizing the uh, the computer but again it's not done that little green bar that went across is not done you have to actually click apply like you did for the update you have to actually click update for it to update you actually have to click apply for it to apply so it'll apply it's it's pretty quick um, this usually takes couple seconds um, the update once you get past back to the update once you get past that first very large update it'll update very quickly less than 30 seconds uh, immunization always is short it doesn't take that long I always reapply the immunization I always double update just to make sure so I click it again it doesn't really do much but I, I'm just making sure what needs to be done is getting done so it's like 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds for it to immunize, which is nice, even the first time you immunize. Then uh, exit out here. We're done with that. And so we can go to system scan, which is the real the real deal. This is what's going to get the viruses off your computer, viruses, spyware, all that, all that crap. It's going to get off your computer, and it works really well. So double-click that. Click the three yeses. I know it's weird, but it does work look at this they've been around for a long time 1999 to 2000, 2014 um, they know what they're doing except for when it comes to yes buttons so once we get into here this uh, system scan uh, we open it up and usually if this is your first time um, you'll have more cookies browser cookies um, so if you have like let's say 112 you just click always even if you don't even if you have one there should always be one but even if you have one I click disable these cookies and okay and then it should be uh, should be good from there 
usually a little bar will pop up if it's a lot if there's a lot of cookies the little bar will pop up when you click disable cookies and it will load and then you click OK should be pretty self-explanatory it's not super big deal but it does help uh, there's this is right here this system scan this is what gets the job done right here um, <clears throat> as you can tell I have not actually uh, done a system scan in a while because I just downloaded the program again um, so it says I haven't done it when I actually have but the first scan will take a little longer uh, than the usual scans but usually they take depending on how long uh, or how, how much uh, data you have on your computer how fast your computer is it can take anywhere from 20 minutes well I'd say anywhere from 10 minutes to like an hour and a half two hours it all depends I know that sounds bad but let's just let's see how long mine takes so we click start scan it will literally just start scanning and um, <clears throat> I think it will give you an estimate after it gets a little ways in it will give you an estimate of how long it should take I think mine I'm probably gonna be wrong but I think it takes mine like 25 30 minutes to actually complete a scan and what I would say is um, I would recommend not doing anything else on your computer while this is running so I wouldn't play any games I wouldn't uh, search the internet I wouldn't do what watch YouTube videos do whatever I wouldn't I wouldn't do that I wouldn't edit videos just I would let the program run itself and uh, do its thing and then once it's done you can go back to doing whatever you were doing so guys I'm back it's actually the next day uh, I had to go to bed I had to get up early but it's the next day and uh, I reran the test and this time I actually timed it with the timer so it ended up taking uh, about 38 minutes and 20 seconds that's actually not right because I came in a little late. I would say about 35 minutes for my computer, which is 700 gigs. Uh, that's how long it took to go through all that. So it's it's pretty fast. But again, it could take up to an hour and a half, two hours, depending on how fast your computer is. So we'll just say 35 minutes. I'll close that down. Um, once you're done, once the scan is done, it'll look like this. Um, everything is checked which is what you want and then you're gonna click down here and click fix selected but first let me go through a little bit uh, or talk a little bit about what this is so basically these are uh, software programs or spyware um, on your computer or uh, things in your internet browser maybe your downloads folder just di different things on your computer that aren't supposed to be there so as you can tell this 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 is the main column you'll be looking at well you want to make sure everything's checked and then you want to look at this this is threat level um, usually if you haven't ran a test before you'll get some red uh, threat levels way up here but these are pretty minor they're not gonna do much it's just little things um, and right here is the type of file it is so this is registry key registry change I always get those um, here's a browser history browser cache a cookie on my computer uh, on my web browser and just different things like that so you really don't need to look at that just make sure all of them are checked and then click fix selected and then uh, there should be little green checks next to every single line I've never had it to where it couldn't get something I've always had little green checks and I've been using this program for two two and a half three years now so there should be little checks next to all of them that means you're good and you can close down the program and now your computer should I'm not gonna say be virus free but a lot of the viruses that were on there spyware malware things like that should be gone now so that's pretty much how you use spybot search and destroy thank you for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and if you didn't watch my last video on how to get spybot for free watch that video thanks for watching guys peace